Hey guys, and welcome to another episode. Today we are going to be talking details. I get a lot of questions from you guys, whether it's about the kitchen, kung anong counter ang dapat gagamitin, or sa bedroom, kung ano dapat ang flooring. So, we'll focus on one thing at a time, and today we are going to be talking about the details of the master's bedroom. The design decisions that would make it worthwhile, make it very livable, and make it more enjoyable to stay in. So, for example, this door. Parang ordinary door lang, di ba? Pero if you really think about it, this door, if you notice, isn't the sakto na size or the standard size that we're used to. This door is actually oversized to about one meter. One meter, the regular one is only about maybe 0.8, so it's about bigger by this much, but it's also taller by about a foot. Now, bakit namin ginawa yan? It's because we wanted this to be grander. Compared to all the other doors in the house, this is actually bigger. Now, that also gives us room to put in a lot of space for furniture. So, when we are putting this inside this room, hindi siya nagiging problema because of the big doors. So, I highly suggest master's bedroom have a big door. Come on in. Welcome to the master's bedroom, Max. <laughs> We're doing a little bit of remodeling. Meron tayong bagong lights, meron tayong bagong sofa, meron tayong bagong planters, which Chris likes. She's behind the camera, by the way. Say hello, love. <laughs> These are all by Gussie Design, so thank you, Gussie. We'll talk about the design some other time. We'll make a different video for that because right now, we're going to be focusing on the practical aspects of a bedroom, especially a master's bedroom. First tip, the bedroom has to be located in the quietest part of the room with possibly a good view, if meron. Now, I say quietest because I see some designs where people place the master's bedroom in the most accessible part of the house, which is also a good idea, but malapit sa main entrance or malapit sa service area or even malapit sa living room. So, when you have guests around, medyo maingay yung master's bedroom, people coming in and out, door slamming, may mga generator that is sounding or even mga laundry areas that are working with the washing machines. So, remember to choose the quietest part of the room. Wait, cut muna tayo guys. Look at that! What did we place there? Do we have food there? Oh! <laughs> so that is one of the reasons why the bedroom has to have the best views, guys. <laughs> Next, we have a little pet peeve of mine. And after I explained this to Chris, she is now very much agreeable to this decision. Is to never face the air conditioner directly towards the bed. It's either that or I see sometimes conditioners above the bed na paminsan nagli-leak or may mga droplets of water going down on the person. It's just awkward when you're lying down there and seeing that heavy thing above your head. Medyo awkward lang siya. So this is a good suggestion. Especially for me, I can't sleep when the wind is blowing straight to my face. Now, I get a lot of questions about the types of floor that we are using in the Skypod and all of our bedrooms are using these types of flooring. These are from a brand called Pergo. Now, this isn't sponsored or anything, but we really like them because they are very much scratch resistant and these are wood laminates. Now, the only problem with this is that hindi siya pwedeng basang basa. It will actually warp when it's really wet. There's also engineered wood, same problem, not allowed to be wet. But there's also something called vinyl flooring. There are a lot of options that you can choose for your bedroom, but I highly recommend you sticking with the basics, either hardwood flooring, which is more expensive and more maintenance. Now with vinyl flooring, it is more durable, you can wet it. 
and it's cheaper, but you have to look out for what is called a VOC or volatile organic compounds. You may amoy ng konte because it might be cancerous. So that's just something to look out for. Tiles or even bare concrete are also okay, but for me personally, medyo cold lang yung feeling ng room when you're using that and also on the feet when you're walking around barefoot, medyo cold siya. So, hindi siya perfectly ideal. But it's still workable depending on the design. Now, some of the tips here, hindi naman talaga natin ma-incorporate lahat-lahat sa bahay. These are all ideal situations. Even as nakulangan kami, I would feel in the airflow department of this room. The windows are not so big and then it's behind the curtain pa so hindi namin nagagamit ng maayos. And also, it's because those windows over there are very high up, so we have a hard time opening and closing. It's just, hindi lang napag isipan. But if you have the opportunity, always have good airflow in your room and make sure it has an in airflow and an out airflow. Kasi if one side lang ang bubuksan natin, the wind cannot really pass through. Okay, next is something na. We tried to follow, but medyo nakulangan lang ng konte. It's having outlets by your bedside all the time. So, for example, if you come in closer, closer, come in closer, come in closer. We have an outlet here. Now we were also supposed to have an outlet here and a switch for the lights. Alam niyo yung gabi gabi na antok ka na and gusto mo lang i-off yung lights na. Dito ka na lang mag-off, hindi ka na aakyat pa or tatayo pa and then on mo and off mo dito. So, meron tong provision and it actually supposedly works but since we have this headboard and the only way to get the switch out from there is to cut around the headboard and then nagdagan pa dito, medyo hassle na at posible pang papangit yung headboard so we decided to go against it. In the other rooms of the house, Meron, so Scotty, you're very suerte because your daddy designed this for you ahead of time so that when you're a little bit older, Meron kang switch dito. You don't have to get up, my little dudong. In line with that, have outlets all around the corners of the house. Guys, I'm very happy that I have this experience with just designing a home in general because I placed an awful lot of outlets all around a room and I was thinking, ah, baka hindi magamit, pero I'll just put it there. But now, it's super useful when we place this massage chair, my outlet, my outlet for the lamps, my outlet for the air purifier, <laughs> for the TV. So, just place outlets around the house, around the bedroom, especially the corners. Next is to have several types of lighting around the bedroom. Firstly, and melody. <laughs> natural light. Now, natural light helps a lot with it comes to general health ng people living in the bedroom. But also, it takes out a lot of the smell, the mga molds na possibly can grow in dark, moist areas. So, that's the very first one. As much natural light as possible. Second is cove lighting. So, Dito marami kaming cove lighting and it's warm lighting. And this is especially useful for when you are winding down at night. We use this cove lighting 90% of the time here whenever we are trying to settle down, watching TV and trying to go to sleep. Mas relaxing lang talaga when it's not direct lighting and when it's warm lighting, it helps you go to sleep. Second is these cool lighting. Cool lighting is for when you are doing something, for when you are working, for when you are kagabi, cutting my nails, love. <laughs> or whenever, let's say for example, Scott is playing here, he's drawing or whatever in the future, he will have the proper lighting for whatever needs to be done. Lastly is bedside lighting. So this is important for when we are trying to like read a book or Maybe just doing something here in particular. One switch for each light. And if again possible, yung switch is nandito malapit sa 
natutulog na tao or matutulog so that it's easier. Now, this may not be part of the bedroom exactly, but always remember to have a place for your linens that is easily accessible. Ito ang palaging nakakalimutan. Uh, closet is okay, tapos marami ng mga places for the toiletries, but nakakalimutan yung linens. So just make sure you have provisions for the linens that is nearby so that when you're changing your sheets, madali lang. So this is our position when we're sleeping. Ako dito, si Chris nandyan. And one of my pet peeves is a clear path towards the bathroom at night. Marami kasing mga ibang designs na kailangan pasikot-sikot ka pa towards the bathroom. But for me, I go maybe two to three times at night sa toilet. So, in the middle of the night na walang ilaw, gusto ko na easy lang, hindi na babangga yung mga tuhod ko. And this one especially, I chose this design in particular. I wanted this foot of the bed to be padded so that pag naglalakad at night, hindi nasa scratch or nabubruise yung pa. <laughs> diba? I, I think it's really important na dyan ka, dito ka na lang. And that's also why I decided to give this side of the bed to Chris because... Yeah. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for joining me in another video. We'll be doing a lot more of these. I have a lot of questions for the kitchen, the electricals, the plumbing, the toilets, the cabinets. Chris will help us with the cabinets. So make sure to subscribe. So make sure to subscribe so that you will be updated whenever those videos come out. See you guys later.